it's Cherie from cheriescraftygirls.com Thank you for joining me today <coughs> Excuse me Today I'm going to make this beautiful little box It's um, a very quick simple box and it's absolutely stunning This I would normally seal as you can see I've got the sticky tape ready to seal for when I seal it for when I pop in my um, a bottle of perfume, some hand cream, some sweeties. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? It's a really, really nice deep box. You could pack some chocolates in there, or as I say, a bottle of perfume. Then you just pop on the top, drop your ribbon, and then seal the box closed. Or what you could just simply size across the top it's entirely up to you I just think that is a really good size and very pretty little box and I love the embossing on the side so this is what we're going to do today so I'll just pop quickly tie that one back up she says but as you lot know I'm not I'm not very good at doing bows so I'm just going to do the best I can and there we are that's with it on the outside. So for that you're going to need two pieces of cardstock. The base measures six and a half by eight and a quarter and the top is seven by eight and a quarter. So we'll go ahead and we'll score them both then we'll emboss the top and then we'll make them up okay. So taking the base first we are going to, with the short side at the top, we're going to score one and a half inches, three inches, four and a half, and six. And turning that around, we are then going to score at one and a half, and five and a quarter. Okay, and then we'll score the the top while well, we've got the scoreboard out. So short side at the top, it's one and five eighths, three and a quarter, four and seven eighths, six and a half. Turn. One and five eighths and five and three eighths. Okay. So put the scores board to one side. And let's say we'll, we'll concentrate on the, the base first. So fold and burnish all your score lines. and then we have a section that's a large row of boxes so taking your small section of boxes you're just going to snip up each of the score lines this forms the base or the yes this is the base of the box and when you come to the last one which is the rectangle come up and remove and just notch the end of that tab and notch and remove the top rectangle like so and these you're going to notch down so you can just come either side of the score line but slightly notched so notch this bit your first piece out and notch this, 
I mean, you can you can come straight down your score line and then notch it if you find that easier. And what I mean by that is, you can cut down your score line as you did for the base, and then notch if you find that easier, and then notch the other side. But I just think that's all extra cutting, so I prefer to notch either side of that score line notch this side of it and notch the edge so you have a piece that looks like like that Should I just zoom you out on just a fraction so you can see better and what we're going to do now is take an sticky strip you're going to put a little piece down the tab And turn it over and put some anywhere along these because these are going to fold inside just to strengthen the box so it doesn't really matter how you do these because they're just going to strengthen the box okay and also going to now let me think that's that's the back so on this one I think we'll make the box and then then we'll worry about that so the one with the tab we have the tab here do not um, take the back end off of there yet but do the other ones and just fold them shut Oh dear, oh dear, try, you know what they say, more haste, less speed, and it's definitely true today. But before we do this one, we're going to remove the tab up, back in on this tab, construct the box, and then remove your backing paper, and then we're just going to tuck that inside like so just so it hides I've done the wrong one it should have been that one never mind it's done right so where's the back of the box back of the box I've just done it and I can't find it isn't that silly there right, that's the back one of the box so we bring that one in then two over but we're going to put two holes in this one so with your handheld punch, you are just going to pop in two holes and hopefully get them as evenly. Oh, I wanted a little one. I've used the big hole. Another one for the... So that's nice and even. And that's for your ribbon. And now we'll be, we're going to pop a little bit of sticky tape on this side panel just to hold it down while we're doing the rest of the box. I'm getting such a mess. So, move it back in. And close your box, making sure it's nice and square. And then we're going to put some ribbon in that. So we'll do that in a minute. Pop that to one side, we're now going to do the top of our box. So take some scrap paper, bring in your box, and again, you have your small section and you have your large section. The small section is now going to be the top of your box. So when you do your embossing, you want to make sure that um, the pattern that you're using, if it, if it has a definition defined top and bottom, the top of the pat the, the stamp goes where the little the little squares are. You've got very deep one, the central one, then the square at the top, and you need that as the top of your box. So we'll do the folding 
and burnishing, just as we did for the base. Hold and burnish all your sides. as we did for the base up your square not your rectangles your square up your score lines to form the top of your box remove your section your rectangle at the end and notch your tab notch your tab and remove your rectangle and again just notch your top rectangles now again you can go down and then notch I'm just going to notch to the point on either side as I go along You don't have to make a huge notch, just enough so it sits nice and flush in the box. And again here and here. And lastly the end one. But before we I mean we can put our stick tape on. So put your stick tape on your tab. your notched flaps but do not um, fold them over because we need to emboss first so we make a nice smooth print with our stamp okay so keeping our small section at the top we are now going to emboss these ones. So taking your embossing buddy, just gently, nice and evenly, remove any sticky prints from your paper. And I'm going to use for this one Gift of Love. And normally it's a three stamp pattern. So you stamp the outline, then you stamp the shaded part of the, fl the flower and the leaves. I'm just going to use the outside because I think that will stand out better. So you need your first mark. Really, really, really ink. Um, ink? I'm not sure if that's the right word because it's not ink. But really make sure that the, verse, the stamp is covered in Versamark and then place that onto oh I hope my head's not in the way your pattern you know, you're into your section and do that all the way along making sure it's really inked well and again into the se section we're going to um, emboss three and lastly you can hear how sticky it is when I take it off the paper can't you and gosh in there I'll see if I can hold it up whether you can don't know if you can actually see Oh, just about, I think, where the verse mark has left the imprint of the stamp. So now what we're going to do is you're going to make sure you've got some paper underneath and taking your embossing powder, you are just going to cover those, those embossed prints. So tip your silver powder, I'm using silver, you can use whatever colour you want, 
over the top and then tap off the excess and pop over the other side and do exactly the same over your flower that you've just embossed with the first mark ink and tap it off and I'm just going to tap on there just to make sure all the excess is off and that's fine as you can see so pop the lid onto your embossing powder just tap off any excess when just check that there's none that you don't want heat embossed Removing your paper out of the way, and if you've got your volume on, I'm going to turn it off now because this really makes a noise. I'm just going to heat my um, heating tool and then you will see very quickly but it melts the silver you see that change in colour where it's heating and embossing crystals I think that's lovely It doesn't take very long. Isn't that effective? I think that is absolutely stunning. So now pop it over, bring down your three flaps, um, removing your sticking tape. So see the last one I said leave this one but you should have left this one. So pop that down, pop that one down and this one and bring over this one, remove your backing off your tab and construct your box and now bring this one down and that will cover the flap that you've just brought across isn't that lovely look at that I think that's really lovely so again there's the back of your box so pop that in first bring these down put a little bit of sticker tape on your side uh, flap and stick that down making sure that it's nice and square gosh that's not very square is it that's better there like so now this is where you have the choice. If like me you want to put the, the ribbon through the holes just find a poke tool and pop that through so it ties on top. You will need to put some holes in the lid the same way you did the base of your box so you can have have it tied like so I've got glitter everywhere so that would fit sit like so Now you watch, I'll come to do a bow later on and I won't be able to fix it like 
as quick and easy as that. So you can have it so the 